It was Margot's idea to break Kelly and Ivan out of the cell they were being held in, so we agreed to help her with it. And while we managed to help them escape, we got caught, and um, Sterling, he just, he just shot her. Ever since I was forced on my knees outside the front gates of this place, I didn't like the leadership here. It's a shame, because this really is a nice and strong community, but clearly the motives behind Amaya and Sterling are severely misguided. They only care about themselves, making sure not so much as a hair on their heads get harmed. Still though, they need to answer for what happened to Margot. We'll make sure that they do. We just need to figure out the best way to go about it. Can I help you? Hey, Emma. We have reason to believe that Lloyd Denham Carey and Xander Salazar are present here. Why do you make that sound like it's a problem? Because they're both under arrest for being involved in a prison break. From what we've heard, neither of them did anything wrong. It might have been Margot's idea, but the two of them were still very much involved. Right. Maybe it'd be better for you boys to leave and tell your council of leaders to get their heads out of their asses. Get in there. No! Get the hell away from them! Put them in the cell. Amaya will want to talk to them in due time. Taylor! Taylor! Oh, hey Sage. Is something wrong? Yeah. Emma and a few others, they got arrested late last night. What? What for? I don't know yet, but we've got to do something about it. Are you kidding? They outnumber us by quite a lot, and these don't seem like the kind of people that I'm very keen on pissing off. So, you're just going to do nothing? I'm sick of constantly fighting with other people. It just never seems to end whenever I end up involved. Plus, Amaya has given me a really good gig here. And I don't want to ruin that. You're unbelievable. I guess I'll have to find someone else to help me. Enjoy your little farming life, you selfish bitch. Never thought that I'd find myself locked up in a cell again once civilization fell. Sometimes, you can never quite outrun your past now, can you? <laughs> I suppose so. Hey guys, Veronica, what are you doing here? I came by to make sure they hadn't done anything to you yet, because, well, if I'm being honest, things aren't looking very good. I figured as much. It was stupid what I did. You were just trying to protect your friends. I get it. And despite how bad things might be looking right now, I'm gonna try my best to convince my mother and brother to spare your lives. Wait, they're talking about killing us? Ever since we developed our system where everyone has to pull their weight no matter what, they aren't a huge fan of people that believe otherwise. Like I said though, I'm doing my best to keep them from spilling anyone's blood. Well, we appreciate it, Veronica. Really? Yeah, of course. Just sit tight for now and hope for the best. Hopefully we'll have this figured out soon. Are you sure that you two don't want to stay? We'd love to have you here, living with us again. As much as we'd love to stay, we still have work to do back at Whitehaven. If you insist, but just know that you're always welcome to come back. Thanks, Annie. I'll certainly keep that in mind. Well, for now, safe travels back. Ray, wait. What is it? Come here, you. I've missed you. I know. 
I would say that you should come back with us, but that'd be a horrible idea. Maybe you could get yourselves fired and then come back here? <laughs> I think we might do that. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. Okay. Best of luck to you. Ain't anything to do with luck, Lucy. Alright, Sam. Let's get going. Oh boy. Back to the corporate cesspool. I can't wait. Hello, you four. Hello, Amaya. I really do wish that things didn't have to come to this. The punishment might not have been so bad if you would just let us take Lloyd and Xander peacefully. Forgive me for trying to protect my family from threats like you. <laughs> you think that I'm a threat? I know you are. Considering how you and your son treat the people that work their fingers to the bone to keep this place standing. Well, in order to have this place remain standing, we need people that can handle the work that they're given. We can't afford any weak links that prove to be nothing more than a drain on our precious resources. No one deserves to just be cast out to the sharks. Everyone deserves a fair fight. Clearly not everyone. Shut your damn mouth. I don't want to hear any more of your smart-ass comments right now. So, what exactly are you planning on doing with us? You gonna kill us? Put us in jail? Kick all of us out? Or some other fourth idea of yours? Actually, I'm not sure. I'm waiting to hear what ideas my kids might have for your punishment. Personally... I say that we just kill them. Mom, please. We don't have to do that. It's not like they killed anyone. Let's just... Let's just let them leave. Let them go back to their ski lodge and we never cross paths with them again. Well, I... Come on, Mom. It's not like they could overpower us. Please. No one else needs to die. Okay, we'll let them go. Mom, are you serious? You heard me, Sterling. It's two against one. Take these four as well as Garrett and Neil to the front gates with a pack and send them on their way. Wait, what about Patrick? Yeah, and what about Sage? We'll need the rest of your people here. So this is where they'll be staying. I'm not going anywhere without my nephew. Don't worry, Emma. I have plans for raising him to be like the other kids here, and he'll be a very valuable asset. I'll teach him to be just like me and follow in my footsteps. You're a sick, twisted woman, Amaya. You know that? I wasn't twisted enough to kill you and have that boy be left with no family, so you could at least give me some credit. I'm sorry that things turned out this way. I really liked you guys. Well, we would be dead if you didn't convince your mom otherwise. And we appreciate that. Yeah. And I'll make sure that Patrick is raised right. I won't let him grow up to be like my brother. I want to believe that. I do, but... I don't know if I can. I'll still try my best. Good luck to all of you. So, what are we gonna do? We go back to Alice Lodge, figure out how to get back in there, and get my nephew back? Look, I want to get back in there to see my little brother, but we can't go in there guns blazing. I know. So we need to figure out something else. <laughs> Let's go.